Hello, I am a full stack developer and a top rated plus freelancer at Upwork.com. We will also learn how to deploy our code on AWS EC2. We will also learn how to configure AWS RDS database and S3 bucket and how to use JohnnyCon and Nginx for server side configuration. In addition, we will cover setting up domain and SSL for our APIs to make secure connection for our users. In this section, we will discuss how to deploy our code on AWS EC2 with RDS and S3. AWS is a popular cloud hosting platform. We will go over the different components of AWS EC2 and how to set up a new instance. We will also learn how to configure RDS and S3 and how to use JohnnyCon and Nginx for server configuration. In this last section, we will learn how to set up domain and SSL certificate for our project. We will go over the different setups involved in buying a domain, setting up DNS and installing an SSL certificate to ensure a secure connection for our users. Also, if you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe now. It helps to create more courses and tutorials for free. So let's get started. Amazon Relational Database Service is fully managed relational database service provided by Amazon Web Services. It makes it easy to set up, operate and scale a relational database in the cloud. To configure an Amazon Web Services Relational Database Service Postgres SQL Database with Django, you have to follow these steps. First of all, you have to create an AWS account if you don't have then you have to launch an RDS instance. Then you have to configure Django to use the RDS instance. Then you have to migrate your Django models. Okay. And at the end, you have to test your connection. Okay. First, we have to launch an RDS instance. You have to log into your AWS account. When you are logged in, just type RDS in search bar. And select first one okay create a new database all right so we will choose standard create option here for engine option we will choose PostgreSQL and we will keep the latest version of engine version okay and here we will choose free tire. Okay. Next we have to give a name to our DB. Okay. So I will give name backend course. All right. Next we have to give a name to our master username database. Okay. So here I will give name my super user. Okay, then I will create a password my super user my super user. Okay. Then we have to keep our instance configuration to micro. Okay, so we will not change anything here to the storage it's up to us how much storage we need okay so you can increase decrease uh, storage as well okay so next we have to keep the settings by default don't connect to the ec2 compute resource okay and next this is important we have to select yes okay so we can access our database okay and next we have to create a security group i will give name backend okay so this will be our security group here 
here we have to check additional configuration so I will use this port 5432 next we have additional configuration okay so we can keep it by default here you need to give name to your database name it is very important if you miss this okay so your database will not work so I will give name backend course alright okay so then we have to just create our database okay I will just create database okay one thing here you need to make sure uh, the name is uh, compatible with AWS okay so I will just also update my database name as well okay here okay this is here okay all right okay so let's create our database now click on create button okay it will take two three minutes to create your RDS okay so you have to wait for it sometime it takes five to six minutes as well okay so RDS is creating for meantime we can do some configuration in our Django project okay go to your Django project and settings.py file okay so we will replace these database by default configuration how you can do it you have to replace with these lines okay I will add this article link in my video description copy these lines go to your settings.py file and replace these lines okay I will just replace it okay so no here we need to uh, add our database name so my database name is backend course okay and my database username is my super user okay and my password is my super user okay all right so now we have to copy the host when our RDS will be created so we can copy the host and we can replace this host okay so before we uh, copy the host let's install some packages okay so if we want to integrate PostgreSQL we need to install two packages okay okay first you have to install this package okay on my side it is already installed next you have to install binary package okay all right okay when you are done then you make sure to add these two uh, packages in your requirements.txt file how you can do it you can just do pip freeze requirements.txt okay so your requirement.txt file will be updated with these two packages okay so now we are done with our configuration just we need to know copy the host now let me go to our RDS let me refresh it okay so RDS is being created so we can wait all right okay so let's just open our RDS okay so this is our host endpoint just copy this okay and then you have to replace here all right okay next we have to do one thing we have to add a security group inbound role okay just click on security group okay click on security group okay go to the inbound roles click added inbound rules 
so here you need to make sure your system IP address is added okay so then your connection will be established otherwise your connection will not establish okay all right now we can run migrations okay python manage start pi migrate okay so we can migrate our database to rds all right we are connected with our rds okay so our migrations are successful in case your migration don't succeeded it's mean there is an issue with your security group so so make sure security group of your IP address is added. All right, so we can now create a super user. Python manage dot pi create super user. I will give name admin admin at the rate gmail.com okay so we have password as well all right okay so we can run our app locally so we can try to add some data Okay, just copy the development server path okay all right go to the admin path okay so we have admin username and admin password just click on login button okay no here you can see we can add some data in our tables okay so I will add some data category name shoes details okay and then we can add a product okay add a new product product name you can say baby shoes all right you can enter the price and you can choose the image all right and you need to select the category for your product okay so no we have added the database so we have a serverless database okay so if we deploy our project to any cloud provider okay so we can use the same uh, database okay all right so we can now push our changes to github That's it. So you should now be able to use your AWS RDS PostgreSQL instance with your Django application. Amazon S3 Simple Storage Service is highly scalable object-based cloud storage service provided by Amazon Web Services. It allows users to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on web. To configure Amazon S3 to store your Django project static and media files, okay, we can follow some steps. First of all, we will need to create our S3 bucket, okay. So you have to log in into your AWS account, just type S3. Click on S3. Okay, click on create new bucket. Give bucket name. I will give name backend course. Okay, then you can choose your region. Okay, I will choose this by default Virginia region. Okay. 
and then you have to keep this settings by default disable this option okay so okay next we can keep other settings by default okay in advanced settings we can keep the settings by default as well create bucket okay so our bucket is now created now let's move to your Django project okay at the bottom of settings start by file you need to add some lines okay you can copy these lines from my article I will add this article in my video description okay just copy these lines go to your settings.py file okay so here you need to replace few things okay access key ID secret access key ID okay and storage bucket name okay and signature everything so first of all we have already created a bucket so I will replace the bucket name the bucket name is backend course okay and we will keep this s3 signature name as by default okay and then we have to write the region name okay so you can easily get go to your AWS okay so this is our bucket name okay so just copy this part of AWS region and go to your Visual studio in your settings.py file replace the region name okay then we need to change these two things which is AWS access key ID and secret how we can get this go to AWS go to the home page you need to create an IAM user that has permission to access your S3 bucket type IAM okay the first one okay so this is our IAM management console click on user add a user you can give any name S3 access click on next okay so here we need to attach a policy okay you can attach policy s3 full access you can write amazon s3 full access okay you can select this next okay so policy is attached create user okay user is created now okay now let's copy secret key and access key okay for this you can go to security credentials and scroll down to access keys create access key okay and here you can choose local code and select I understand next okay you can give name s3 access okay all right so you can create access key no okay so this is our access key we will copy this and we will replace here okay and for secret key we can copy this key and we can place this key here make sure don't public these keys okay if your data is important okay so I'm just doing for a, a tutorial purpose after making this video I will delete these keys so all right so we have access key bucket name okay everything is set up now okay the configurations are done next we have to install a package go to your terminal alright 
so you have to run pip install booto3 package so this booto3 library will interact with s3 from your django project all right now we can run our server to test our s3 integration run server okay just copy this and go to your browser all right go to the admin all right let's go to product table so we can add a data because product table has an image field so we can test okay so we are getting an error okay no module found okay so we need to install the package for this okay so you can easily uh, copy this package from google okay just copy this and install this package so our s3 then will work okay so package is installed no i will just run again okay okay so you can now visit your server all right refresh it great okay so you can now add a new product this will be a dress product and in detail okay price you can give okay so here is thing we are going to upload image so it will be automatically uploaded to s3 so i will choose an image okay and then we have to choose category and save all right so our image is stored now let's visit aws go to s3 all right open your bucket so we can check if the image is uploaded yeah okay our folder is there so you can see this is our image which we have uploaded using django admin interface okay so if you want to open this image you can also open okay so i have uploaded this image so it is successfully uploaded on s3 you can also test it using django admin as well you can just click on this image so you will see this image path is linked with s3 okay all right so with these steps you should be able to configure your s3 to store your django project static and media files on aws okay so if you already existing some uh, media files you can also run python manage.py collect static as well okay so we are done with our s3 integration with our django project if you want to deploy your django application on the cloud amazon web service is a great option for production okay so aws offers a wide range of services that can help you to deploy and manage your application with ease so no i will walk you through the steps to deploy a django application on aws using ec2 ubuntu server we will also integrate nginx and jonicon as well okay first we need to create an ec2 instance okay so you have to visit to the dashboard the first step is to deploying a django application on aws is to create an ec2 instance an ec2 instance is a virtual server that runs in the aws cloud to create an ec2 instance you will need to log in to your aws account and go to the ec2 dashboard you can just type ec2 and go to the ec2 dashboard once you are on the ec2 dashboard click on the launch instance 
लॉन्च इंस्टेंस फ्रॉम देयर यू विल बी प्रॉम्प्ट टू द सेलेक्ट एन एमेजॉन मशीन इमेज ओके सो दिस इज द पेज ओके फर्स्ट वी हैव टू गिव नेम टू आवर इंस्टेंस ओके देन वी नीड टू चूज द इमेज ओके वी आर गोइंग टू यूज उबन टू मशीन ओके फॉर एमेजॉन मशीन इमेज यू कैन कीप सेटिंग्स बाय डिफॉल्ट ओके नेक्स्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो कीप दिस इंस्टेंस टाइप to t2 micro by default okay and then we have to create a new key pair i will give name backend course we will use this key pair to connect with our instance using ssh okay create a key pair a file will be downloaded in your system okay here you can create a new security group okay allow http traffic from the internet also allow http traffic from internet okay so for this you can choose to my ip okay so for the security reasons it's the best practice to choose my ip okay if you have to keep this to anywhere then if someone has ssh key okay and pim file they can access your instance so i will keep my ip address okay all right and next we have to keep other settings by default in advanced detail we don't need to touch anything okay so click on launch instance okay so our instance is created so you can go to the instance dashboard okay so this is our instance which is being initialized so it will take 1 to 2 minute to ready for the use all right our instance is ready to use okay no we need to connect our ec2 instance using ssh just select your instance click on connect button okay and you have to choose ssh client tab okay then you have to copy this command okay then you have to open your terminal and paste this command but make sure you are in the same directory where your pim file is downloaded okay so i will hit enter okay and next i will copy this command okay yes all right i am connected with my ec2 instance using ssh okay no we need to install some packages first for this we have all the commands in this article okay so make sure you are connected with your ec2 instance first okay you can use your mac or linux machine terminal or if you are using windows you can use putty okay so no let's copy these two commands okay and so we can run these two commands together yes all right two packages are installed okay so next we have to install the virtual environment okay for this you can copy these two commands okay and just paste in your terminal yes 
all right okay so next we have to clone our project okay so i have to just go to my github okay so i will be using my backend course okay so i will just go to my terminal here i will clone the project using get clone okay our project is cloned so we can confirm it i will just type ls you can see our project is cloned so we can just go to our backend project backend course all right okay so next we have to activate the virtual environment okay but before we activate we need to create the virtual environment using this command okay just copy and run this command okay virtual environment is created next we have to activate this virtual environment for this we can use simply this command okay all right next we need to install the packages we have in our requirements.txt file okay so you can also copy this command from article i will just copy this okay and then i will just run this command okay and next we have to copy another command which is pip install django johnny con so it will install django and johnny con together okay all right so we can just copy and paste the command here all right okay next we have to run these command let's copy and run for python manage.py migration and python manage.py migrate okay so these commands will not run tell your rds database has permission for this instance okay so what we will do here we have to go to the aws console no okay here we have to go to the aws console we have to type rds go to your database select it and now you have to choose security group click on added in bound rules and here you need to add some rules postgresql okay and here you have to choose the security group of ec2 instance okay so we will check security group which is this one okay all right so and also we need to attach another security group which is ssh okay for our ec2 instance so i will give security group of ec2 instance all right okay now we will save this role now let's go back to your terminal okay so you can see this error was coming due to migrate so what i will do here i will need to run the command again python manage dot py migrate okay so you can see the command is working fine now because we have given permission to this instance to access our rds 
also I can run the remaining commands as well migration command okay no changes detected next we have to copy this command okay collect st static yes okay so next now we have an important thing about static files okay you need to add some lines okay in your project so your static files will be loaded otherwise when you will visit your uh, url okay you will see there will be no css okay so just copy this line okay and go to your project okay open settings.py file go to installed apps okay so you can add it here okay and next you have to copy middleware okay and you need to add this middleware in your settings.py file middleware okay just go to your project and here you can add all right okay so next now you have to copy these lines and you need to add these lines in url.py file in the folder where your settings.py file is okay so i will open this urls.py file okay and no i will add this here okay next also we need to add some import in the same file i will just copy and i will add these imports at the top okay all right no we need to push these changes okay so we have no updated our code what i will do no here i will pull new updates okay you have to run a command okay we can pull new changes get pull origin master branch name okay so it will pull all new changes in our directory okay so new changes are added now on our ec2 project folder right now let's go back to the article okay here we need to know add okay now we need to install this package this will help us to load our static files okay you can install this package okay next we have to configure johnnycon okay so we can configure johnnycon what we can do here i can just copy this line okay if you want to deactivate the virtual environment you can also deactivate okay and you can go to the uh, root directory okay and here you can create your johnnycon.socket file in this file you have to paste this content copy and paste okay and then you have to save this okay i will just quit it all right okay next we have to create service file for johnnycon okay so i will copy this and i will paste it here and then we need to copy the content for this file let's copy it okay insert the content here we need to make some changes first of all our project directory name is backend core so you have to replace your project directory name so it will work fine so what i will do here i will replace the name i will give name backend course okay and here we need to also update backend actually this is the same folder name 
of your project okay so next you have to update another thing here which is a block dot okay we need to replace the file we need to replace the folder here okay our folder name is backend where our wi sci file exists okay so we can replace the folder name so make sure to replace it otherwise this file will not execute properly okay okay so we have done some changes here so no you can save these changes all right okay now let's move to the article next we have to enable johnny khan first we need to start then enable i will copy these two commands together okay okay all right so we can confirm okay it's enabled okay next we have to configure nginx okay before we create a nginx reverse proxy file okay next we have to configure nginx before we configure we need to make sure if any nginx file exists in our system we can delete it so to confirm it you can just copy this and paste it here so and you can check okay there is a file in our directory okay so we can first remove this nginx by default file how you can do it you can just sudo rm f default the name of file okay so file is no removed okay so now you can go back to your main root directory okay all right next we have to just let me clear it okay next copy this command okay here you need to replace this block with your folder name where your settings.py file is okay and hit enter then you need to paste this content just copy and paste it okay here you need to change the root path you have to give your folder name of your project control i insert okay i will give name backend course all right okay so we don't need to change anything right now no just save it okay next here we need to run this command before we run make sure to change the path name replace the blog with your project folder name where your settings start py file is backend okay all right next we have to run this command to load static file in place of username you have to use your username which is ubuntu okay so you can use ubuntu as well okay user group is added all right now let's run these commands so we can check our website okay hit enter next we have to start services of johnny corn okay and next we need to copy this nginx restart service as well all right now we are done with our project setup configurations okay now let's copy the ip address of our ec2 instance 
go to EC2. and copy the public IP address and paste it in your browser. All right, you can see our project is deployed successfully. So you can visit the admin panel as well. Okay, one thing here you can see the static files are not loaded properly, okay? So we need to confirm where is the issue, okay? Okay, first we can move to our project path. Backend course. And we can activate our virtual environment first. Okay, so next we have to check our static files. Okay, so you can see our static files folder name is static files build. Okay. So we have to know, check our Nginx file to confirm the folder name is correct or not. All right. So you have to just go to your Nginx file. Okay. Just you have to copy the same command we used earlier. Okay. And in this file, you can see we have a wrong folder name. So we can update it here. Okay, our folder name is static files build. All right. Okay, let's save it. Okay, so now we need to run two commands to re restart the services again. So when you make any changes in the code, so you have to just run these two commands. Okay, so I will copy these two commands. All right, so I can just double check. So everything is fine. Okay, now let's go to your IP address and refresh it. All right, wow. So if we had to make any mistake, it is a part of learning, okay? So make sure if the static files are not loaded, so make sure to uh, figure out where is the issue. It maybe the chances are the Nginx file is not configured properly, okay? So you can just check the, what is the name of your static files folder and you can just replace it, okay? Now let's log in because we have already configured the RDS as well. All right, so we can also log in into our server as well. Okay, so you can just see the category we have added. Okay, category is there. Okay, so you can also add data and many other things as well. So our project is deployed successfully. Now we have an IP address. Okay, so we can point this IP address to our domain. For this, we need to follow some instructions, okay? First of all, you must purchase a domain from somewhere, like you can purchase domain from GoDaddy, okay? Or you can purchase from any domain provider, okay? So I have already purchased a domain, okay? Next, we have to create account on Cloudflare, okay? So you can create a free Cloudflare account first, okay? So I will just create account. Okay, when you're done with Cloudflare account, so you have to go to the menu, okay? You have to register a domain, okay? But before you need to verify your email address if your account is new. All right, my email is verified now. Now let me add my domain, okay? I have domain mohammadrashid.com, okay? So I will add this site. Then we need to follow some steps. Okay. So you can choose a free variant. Okay. And continue. 
so it will scan your DNS okay okay first we need to review it next here we need to remove uh, these uh, name servers okay so if I go to my manage DNS on my GoDaddy domain what I can do here because I have to update these name servers okay with my Cloudflare name servers okay so I will just copy first one and I will replace okay the first one and I have to copy the second one as well okay save it continue okay so sometime it can take time okay uh, mostly uh, name servers get updated in next 5 to 10 minutes okay all right so so you can check your name servers if they are changed or not okay from here you can go to the DNS now just you have to remove these extra fields we don't need you have to just delete it just delete all the records so we will add a new record all right okay so now we need to add two record one will be a a record and other will be a c name record so we need to copy the public IP address okay so I will just copy the IP address we have and next I will add it okay so we need to remove this all right okay so we can save okay next we need to add C name record all right okay so here we need to add the target which is www dot my domain name dot com okay and then here we need to uh, write the name okay it can be www okay we can remove www from here as well just save it okay done so we have added two racket c name and a so now we can check if this domain is working and connected to our IP address okay I will just paste it okay so you can see our project is now live on our domain as well so it is very easy if you want to integrate domain okay so you can just use a cloudflare okay and just you can update the servers okay and your IP address will be pointed to your domain easily okay next we need to integrate SSL certificate to our domain how we can do it first of all we need to connect with our EC2 instance using SSH okay so first of all I will just go to my AWS console okay just select your EC2 instance and connect okay let me copy this command okay and I will just run this command all right then we have to run our SSH command this one so we will be connected with our EC2 instance all right I am connected with my EC2 instance okay next we have to just run few commands so our SSL will be installed okay so you have to just copy this command and run this command here okay a file exists okay and next we need to copy the second command and paste it here okay and next we have to copy this command okay when you will enter this command uh, they will ask you some questions okay so you have to fill all the forms okay
okay so you can just write the country name okay province all right next we have to enter the city and you have to enter uh, the organization you can enter any dummy as well imagine I want to add test TE okay and no here you need to uh, add your domain name okay so I will just add dot com all right here I will add my email okay so hopefully our SSL will be installed now let's visit our domain all right okay now let's add HTTPS okay wow so you can see so our site is now secured we have installed the SSL as well great I hope this video has been helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any questions or feedback leave a comment below I will get back to you stay tuned for more courses and tutorials and until next time goodbye